race fans, we're at Williams Grove Speedway to kick off the 25th annual Pennsylvania Sprint Speed Week. on the speedway. Stevie owns two feature wins in speedway competition, the defending Mitch Smith Memorial Champion. Fast time for Stevie Smith, 16.506. It is show time at Williams Grove Speedway. Green flag is out. Here, Foss for Lucas Fifth. Stevie Smith getting away from Hardnet here at the start. Hardnet working hard on the bottom of the race track. Hardnet tries a little Martinez on the bottom. Brian Martinez shot past Dietrich on the inside, drew alongside Hardnet. Seven down on the leader, Stevie Smith. Cut the lead from nine tenths of a second to seven tenths. There they go. Hodnett tries the bottom. Marquise around the outside. Close racing on the back stretch. Smith stretching the lead a little bit now. 1.1 seconds that time for Stevie Smith over Hardnet. Monteith with a problem, the 21 slowing in turn number two. Yellow flag comes out for the 21 of Monteith. About to decide this one with five laps left. Green is out. Hardnet tries the inside, that's not the place to be. Smith gets away on the back stretch. Trouble on the front stretch. Three laps left. Green is out. Smith gets a good start. Straight through the middle. Leads hot net down the back stretch. Checker flag coming out for the Speedway point leaders. Stevie Smith. Hot net second and Dietrich third. Welcome back to Victory Lane for the second time this season. Career win number 31 for Steve Eastman. It was good when you rolled around the trailer tonight, and it's good here in Victory Lane. What's going on? Uh, uh, this is credit goes to these guys, Bruce. It's, uh, man, it was really good. I, I actually just uh, had to adjust a little bit on the driving part of it, and it just felt better. You know, the, the car's been really good, and... And it's just the whole team, the motors, the crew, and Moon, and, and Freddie, and, and Fred, they all make a good decision for me. And it's just, uh, it feels like we're, you know, we're back on track. And, you know, I know tomorrow could be a whole different night, but the car felt like it did when we were really good last year. Stevie, you said you had to make an adjustment from your end. What did you do differently? Well, I, you know, I just, uh, I haven't been racing a whole lot, and I just need to make sure I'm staying with the pace there. I had to drive a little straighter on entry and, and, and race it harder. The car, they have the car really good. The car needs to be driven hard. And, and uh, you know, sometimes I get out there in the lead, I want to ease up, try not to make any mistakes, but then, you know, it doesn't feel as good. So it's just, uh, you got to race it. And the harder I race it, the better it felt. And as you told us, when you set fast time tonight, brand new Donut engine under the hood. 
Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that was a big part of that. I tell you, <laughs> they've been really good, and they're racing good in the slick. And you know, we need to thank Miller Brothers for that, and and Aaron Trading, and there's a list of them here. Fred's a lot better at going over all of them uh, than I am, so we'll get him up here. We'll get him up here, and then we're gonna let you go. We're gonna give you another checker flag for winning the Speed Week opener now. Were you guys supposed to do the whole Speed Week series? How's that going to work? Well, Fred said we'll see how we're going to do one night at a time. We'll see how it goes. He said if you win tonight, we're going to Path Valley. I said, well, I better get my, my butt in gear because originally he didn't want any of his cars at his track, but I think he finally realized that I live in Oklahoma and he lives in Pennsylvania. So, it's, yeah, his car's going to be there. And But, uh, you know, it's not like, uh, you know, he's going to play fair, and I think we'll all have a good time over there at Path Valley. Yeah, the, the, like Stevie said, the motor ran really well. Don Ott always does a great job for us, and Stevie's the best driver here. And, uh, you know, we were fortunate to draw the zero, but, uh, you know, just Moon and Freddie and all the guys had the car good, so just just glad to win the race. But uh, I got to put a little plug in for my race up there. Go right ahead. Path Valley on Sunday. I'm buying everybody that comes hamburger, hot dog, probably some free beer. We're going to have a party and music uh, from 12 to 3.30. You're going to see some good racing, a lot of passing, and uh, hope you all can make it out and appreciate if you come out. How do they get to that party? Ah, uh, you just go up and get a wristband at the track. Right down, it's Hammonds Grove. We got a, a shuttle bus to run you down there from the track if you want to, or you can park down there. You can get a wristband down there, but uh, it should be a good, a really good time, and uh, hopefully you all turn out. And I assume your car will be there. Yeah, it wasn't my first choice. Uh, we're going to have to run three cars at least three nights this week, and uh, that's going to make it tough. But, uh, you know, out there on the, during the race, Hodnett's cheating his ass off on the starts, and that's what his job is. But uh, we want somebody to beat his ass for the points this week, and Stevie's the guy to do it, I think. Water and Radney bring him down the front stretch, and Water takes the early lead in turn number one. Radney goes up to the cushion. Three wide in turn number two. Ryan grabs for the second spot. Tries to wedge him out of there as they come down the front stretch. Gargiulo. Second at the line. And now he's inside the leader. Water to his outside. Gargiulo down low. Bites fast and drives in the lead at the bridge. Tim Buckwater closing on the leader, but he slips up over the cushion and turns the car. We've got trouble in turn number four. The red flag comes out. Green returns. Gargiulo protects the bottom. Headed for the checkered flag this time. Your winner in the ARDC Midgets, P.J. Gargiulo. Man, first and foremost, I've been waiting a really long time to be sitting right here at Williams Grove in Victory Lane. Uh, my nephew is on his way. I guess that's where my dad is. Uh, this is his first time at Williams Grove. My first time at Grove was when I was five years old back in that corner. Um, actually, with these two guys. My... Uh, it's just, I've dreamt so long about winning here at the Grove. It's not a 410, which is the ultimate, but this is the closest I'm going to get to it, so I'll absolutely take it before we say anything else. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, it doesn't matter what it is. If you want to race at Williams Grove Speedway, <laughs> you've accomplished something. <laughs> and anybody that was watching the race behind you there, when Buckwater came at you in that number 27, knows what a chore it was throttling these things around here tonight. He took a nasty series of flips down there, took out third and fourth as well. It's a tall order driving these things around this racetrack when it's fast like this. Yeah, it really is. And uh, I was just trying to tiptoe there around the bottom uh, because I didn't really think I had the car for the top. And, uh, man, I, I got a great run on, uh, on Greth there once and coming out of the four. And uh, I just carried momentum to get the uh, winner down there in one. It just it felt really good down there. So I've lost so many races changing something up and, until somebody proves something different. You know, and I saw the 27 on the board was coming, so I figured if anyone was going to show me something different, it would have been him. 